A week or two ago, I found this video by Chloe Rose Art where she did Pinterest hacks. Now, there was a particular hack she did with an Altoids can art palette that, you know what? It really piqued my interest, but as soon as she started working on it, instantly I knew she was doing it wrong. For example, it very clearly says that it's a watercolor hack, and then um, before you know it, she's filling it with acrylic paint. Wow. And then she acts surprised when the palette looks like this after walking around with it. Hmm. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make one of these palettes right, so that it doesn't look like um, Chloe's. <laughs> No tea, no shade, but you're going to need a um, Altoids can, obviously. I had to clean mine. It was really dirty. And then nice little gum cartridge thingies, some throwaway watercolor paper, or nice, I don't know. And then tube watercolors, like squirty tube watercolors, like what you see here. Mine are cheap, but guess what? They work just fine. Great. All right. Step one. You're gonna have to figure out how you want your little cartridges to fit in your thing. I realized I could fit eight of them in there if I cut two individually and put them next to each other. Something Chloe did in her video is that she hot glued them down um, to the actual Altoids, but I wanted to be able to take my palette in and out of the Altoids container so that I could store other stuff underneath the palette, um, which you'll see, uh, later, um, so yeah, right now I'm just cutting them to size, uh, yeah, and later I'll show you how I make it sure that I can move the palette in and out. Alright, so I traced out the shape of the Altoids container and cut out little pieces of paper that I would be able to do like some watercolor swatches on. Now, I found that if it's like perfectly into the lid but it's a little too big for the actual bottom of the Altoids container so I have to trim it later. But you'll see here that it fits perfectly into the lid so if you want to like leave your design like this, it looks really clean and really nice. Um, my final design is not this pretty, however, it is functional to what I want out of my travel palette. Alright, so I'm going to start filling my little cartridges with um, the paint. Now, I wanted to do this first off because it's going to need to dry overnight, and right here you can see I'm deciding what colors I want to include in my palette. Something about smaller palettes is that you only can have like four to eight <laughs> colors. Um, oh, some of my paints were, the lids were dried down, so here with like the red, I had to cut the bottom open to get it out. That's something a lot of people don't know is that just because you can't open the lid doesn't mean you have to throw the paint away. You can still cut it open and use it. Granted, if it's something like watercolor, where you can rehydrate it and it's still very usable, um, then it's fine to cut it open, but if it's acrylic, if you cut it open, whatever you use that day is the last you're going to be able to use it because it's going to dry and you're not going to use it again. So yeah, little art tip from Izzy. Uh, you'll see I had to do it quite a few times where I had to cut open the bottom, but if anything it's giving these paints a new life by putting them in this palette. So I'm putting them in and a lot of times you'll see me shaking the little cartridge thing to flatten out the paints so that it's kind of like a nice smooth top. And you have to leave these to dry. I left them overnight um, just because I didn't want a, uh, a Chloe Rose incident. <laughs> um, and like I said, watercolors rehydrate. Here's the color palette I ended up with here. I felt like it was a nice rainbow of colors. Yep. Alright, and as mentioned before, I wanted to be able to bring my palette in and out of my Altoids container. So here you'll see how I accomplished that. 
So since I have like three pieces of this palette, I decide I'm gonna glue them all onto one piece of that watercolor paper. And I chose watercolor paper because it's stiffer and it won't like fold. Like if I did it on like printer paper, that wouldn't be firm enough. So I go ahead and just hot glue everything onto this watercolor paper so that it acts as a single unit, including these little individual pieces. So now you can see that it acts like a single palette unit that I can pop in and out of the Altoids container as I please. Wow! You could stop here if you want and it'd be done, but um, I'm extra as fuck, so we took an extra step. I was inspired by a lot of travel watercolor palettes where they have an area for you to mix colors, dilute them down with water on the lid of them. And so I decided to go in with my hot glue gun and create little barriered areas where you could do just that. Um, it definitely turned out kind of ugly. <laughs> Um, something else I wanted to make sure I included in my palette was a swatching of all the colors because something with watercolors is that, you know, the way that they dry and the way that they look on paper and the way that they look, you know, raw in the palette are <laughs> never quite the same. So I definitely wanted to include a little swatching little test. So here you can see me doing just that. And you can see that, you know, on the right, in the palette, they're already in that dry state, and it kind of uh, proves that yes, when watercolor dries down, you can get it wet again, and it is usable again. So this is why I wanted to be able to keep things underneath my palette. I put the swatching under there, I've got the glue on top, and I made an oopsie and realized that um, I couldn't close it because I put the glue too close to the edges. So here you can see um, me cutting that with my and now it closes. Wow! I just love how small and compact it is, but I still feel like there's a lot of paint in there. So I can easily pull out the palette. I have access to the swatch colors. And then I even, um, after filming, cut up a bunch of small pieces of watercolor paper and hid them under there too, so I can make a bunch of tiny watercolor paintings. Um, I'd like to really thank you for watching. Um, here on my very small channel, like very, very small channel, uh, my motto is to make art daily. So if that is your motto too, you can head out to my izzysneed.com forward slash shop website and buy yourself one of these buttons for only $2. And you can show everyone that you make art daily. So thank you for watching. Follow me on TikTok to see me use this palette, even though, yes, you can see me using it in this clip right here. Oh no, I did not think this all the way through. Follow me anyway. <laughs>